Want to know if living in short home is the right option for you? Stay tuned. Hey y'all, my name is Holly Fye. I'm a realtor with Napier ERA right here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are new to this channel and want to know everything about the Richmond metro area, be sure to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll receive a notification each time I upload a new video, which will be about twice a week. I love my hometown where I've lived my entire life and I love to help people relocate to Richmond, Virginia, um, or maybe just move to a different part of town. It's my hope that I can help you to grow to love this part of the country as much as I do. I wanna thank everyone who has already reached out to me, but if you are even thinking about relocating to the area or maybe have questions, give me a call or shoot me a text at 804-380-6041, or you can send me an email, whichever is most convenient for you. I'm excited to talk with you about Richmond and look forward to possibly helping you move in the near future. Today, we are at the Colonies at Wild Lake. This subdivision is in the heart of Short Pump, which is in far western Henrico County. It's just a short drive from lots of local shops, restaurants, the mall, gyms, just to name a few things and be sure to stay until the end to see everything that this area has to offer. So let's explore this subdivision. As you enter the subdivision on Causeway Drive, you will see a lake on either side of you. You will often find people walking around the lake for exercise or fishing alongside the lake. Oops, there's somebody now or even just sitting and enjoying the view of the water. Check out that view. Now, as we continue down Causeway, you're gonna find two different townhome communities, one on the left and one on the right. We're gonna be doing a video on those in the near future, so stay tuned so you don't miss those. Now up here on the right, you will see the clubhouse for the Colonies Swim and Tennis Club. So let's check it out. Now the clubhouse that you can see here in front of you can be rented out for meetings, parties, or events. There are also some basketball hoops on the far side of the parking lot for residents to enjoy. And directly behind the building are four tennis courts that you can use. And if you're a spectator, you can enjoy a bird's eye view from the deck. Also, check out this playground. Tons of fun can be had here with several different slide options as well as the swings. And let's not forget the pool. Of course, during this time of year, it's closed, but during the summer months, you can enjoy a diving board area, lap lanes, and even a more shallow end that I believe is about three feet deep. There's also a separate pool for those who might like even less water than that. You can also lounge in one of the chairs around the edges of the pool, or pack a picnic and enjoy at one of the tables and chairs. Now the swim team does practice here, so be sure to check the schedule because during practice, they are utilizing a large portion of this pool. Now there are two different roads that lead into the colonies. We saw Causeway Drive a few minutes ago before we toured the clubhouse area. Now we are on Church Road. Now, if you want to know what else is on Church Road, be sure to check out the video of that area. And I will link it in the description below. Now over here on the left hand side, you will see a couple of the houses that make up the colonies and we'll certainly see lots more 
as we continue along our tour. Over on the right are some other subdivisions that we will also take a look at in a different video. So be sure to stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Now we're starting in the newer section of the colonies and you'll see some of the homes over on the left hand side and some others once we cross over Causeway here at the corner. These homes were built in the early 90s to mid 90s where most of the other homes in this subdivision were built in the 1980s. This is Causeway Drive. Now, as we saw earlier in the video, there are two lakes at the entrance of the subdivision. And in order to get to those from this point, you would make a left here and go up maybe about a half mile. And the clubhouse is also right there by the two lakes. So you'll see a range of different style homes in this subdivision. Some have brick front, some are all brick. Some have your traditional roofs versus what I call a pyramid roof. Now here at this stop sign, this is the corner of Church Road and Wild Lake Drive. Now, an interesting point is that Wild Lake and Church Road have two different connection points, one at the beginning of Wild Lake and one at the end. So this is one, and we will see the other here a little bit later on in our tour. But if you walk the entire loop of Church Road up Wild Lake to Church Road again and back down, it's about a mile. Now you're going to see a lot of split rail and flat rail fences and some picket style fences as well in this subdivision. Most of the houses are anywhere from 2,500 square feet to about 5,000 square feet on the upper end. There's one of those pyramid style houses. Actually a couple right next door to one another. Now we're turning on to Cottage Cove Drive. Cottage Cove stretches from Wild Lake all the way down to Church Road. So it's one of the um, main streets in this subdivision. It also crosses over Causeway Drive. Now I believe we're in the first section that was built in this subdivision.
So I wanted to loop down into some of these cul-de-sacs so that you could get a feel for the different houses and lot sizes. Currently, there aren't any listings, but that could change any day. There are several that are still pending. Now up here at this next corner on the right hand side, you're gonna see one of the book swap boxes. So if you read your book and would like to trade for another, you can go to that little box and see if there's anything there that might be of interest. such a pretty day out today. There are lots of people out enjoying the weather. Another couple weeks, the, these yards will be full of azaleas. That's one thing that this subdivision has plenty of. There's most yards you can find at least one azalea. Some have many azaleas. Okay, so now we're back out to Wild Lake. We just made a quick loop in. And just to get a feel for where you are, that lake is on the right-hand side of you, or at least one part of it. These are several different townhome communities that circle the lake. And on the left are backyards of houses that are in the colonies. Now this is that Causeway Wild Lake intersection that I mentioned. Your, the clubhouse is right there on the left-hand side that you see in front of you. Now it's right there in the camera. A few more weeks, those trees there will be in full bloom and so pretty. You'll see there's a walking path on the right side of the road there. That's relatively new as well, so that people could use that to exercise and walk their pets. Now let's take a look at some other houses. Again, Causeway was one of those main entrance ways to the subdivision. Some of the houses have those big front porches on them. 
which I just think are really pretty. That's one of my favorite features of a house is a big front porch. What are some of your favorite features? Comment below. Also, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to click on the like button. I'll be doing lots more of these for different subdivisions across the Richmond Metro. So also feel free to comment if you would like for me to add a particular area to my schedule. Now with driveways, you're going to see a combination of different styles. You have your aggregate and then sometimes you'll see asphalt as well. The average price point for this particular community is about $684,500. And the average days on market is about four. Now really, it's a little bit shorter than that because part of that time is the realtor getting the information uploaded into MLS. And they're selling at about 105% of list to sales price. Now this right here is one of the best hills in the subdivision for bike riding. If you like to go downhill, it's nothing better than this one little stretch right here. The wind in your face, you can feel like you're flying. You're also going to see a few homes in here with detached garages. Now up here is the other end of Wild Lake where it connects to Church Road. Okay, so let's head out and take a look at what's around the subdivision. What schools the subdivision attends, currently anyway. I'm going to put a link in the description below so that you can verify that redistricting has not occurred. I'll also give you a brief overview of what shops and restaurants are within the vicinity for your enjoyment. The colonies at Wild Lake subdivision sits within Henrico County. So any students who attend public school as of right now would attend Knuckles Farm Elementary, which is the home of the Foxes. Now Knuckles Farm in 2019 was awarded the Board of Education's Excellence Award. They would then head off to middle school at Pocahontas, which is the home of the Hawks. Pocahontas in 2019 was awarded the Board of Education's Distinguished Achievement Award. And then they would head off to Godwin for High School, home of the Eagles. Godwin also received in 2019 the Board of Education's Excellence Award. There are also a number of private schools in the area that students have the choice to attend. Now let's look at some shopping and dining options.
Now in the closest shopping center to the colonies at Wild Lake, you'll find a grocery store, a drug store, and a gas station. You'll also find a great sub shop. Be sure to check them out and a new Dunkin' Donuts that should be opening soon. A little further down, there's another shopping center with some businesses and a local restaurant called Spoon Bread De. And as you approach the mall, you will find a shopping center that has Kroger's in it, as well as several other shops. And we'll take a closer look at this one. As you turn in, you'll see a hand and stone massage on your right. Kroger's is on your left, and we'll get a glimpse of that here in a minute. Bassett Furniture is in front of you, so if you need any furniture for your home. Now up here, you will see Gelati Celesti's. Now Gelati Celesti is a local homemade ice cream store. And their ice cream, in my opinion, is the very best. They have all different flavors. If you like cookies and cream, there's an Oreo that you will love. My personal favorite is the strawberry. They also have seasonal flavors. So be sure to check out the pumpkin and spice and the black raspberry. We also just passed an olive garden and there's a Genghis Grill up here on the right. There are also a few stores and a gym in this shopping center. Now just up ahead, you will see Kroger's. Now this Kroger's also has a gas station out in front and is one of the larger Kroger stores in the area. And just on the other side of Lauderdale is another shopping area that has several different types of stores and restaurants. Tweed is one of them, which is a great place to get all sorts of gifts and home finishings. There is a dog store for our furry friends, a Starbucks, a First Watch, a Panera, and also a pizza place. Now we are heading across Broad Street into Short Pump Town Center, which is a large outdoor mall here in the Short Pump area of Richmond, Virginia. There is one other outdoor mall that's over on the south side of the river. Now this mall has all sorts of shops and restaurants. There's a Cheesecake Factory, there's a Maggiano's and a Firebird's as well as lots of stores that you might recognize. Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, Macy's, Dillard's, and there's even an Apple store. Again, it is my hope that I can help you grow to love Richmond as much as I do. If you are even thinking about moving to the area or maybe just have some questions, please give me a call or shoot me a text at 804 3806041 or you can send me an email whichever is most convenient i love hearing from you and looking forward to talking with you soon